Hi, my name is Demis Toller from Prize Boxing Promotions. Um, I've been promoting on this island now for since 2012 and promoted no more than about 55 boxing shows. Basically, my, my boxing career was very short. Um, I used to box a little bit in the UK. I did you know, an amateur level um, to the ABAs, which is ABA novices, which is under 20 belts, which I enjoyed. Um, that's where I got all my schooling from and my knowledge. Um, and then when I moved here in Malta, there was no boxing, nothing serious. So that's when I opted to change over to, uh, to promoting to better the, the island because there's a lot of, a lot of people who want to learn the sport. Um, yeah, so just lately, apart, apart from promoting on the island, um, I'm also you know, doing some coaching. So I coach out of House of Fitness. Um, I used to help coach as well with Steve Martin at Fight Factory. Um, he's a very good friend of mine and a partner of mine. Um, so I just, just want to help the boxing community, basically. Um, I have my daughter. I'm coaching my daughter. Um, and she's fighting on the 6th of March. So, yeah, that should be interesting. I started promoting because back in 2012, I saw a lot of um, a lot of potential on the island, a lot of discipline, you know, a lot of heart, a lot of technique. But there was nothing for them. There was no stage, you know. There there was some other boxing promoters who did a great job, but I thought, you know, this could be a lot better. Um, and with my boxing knowledge and my contacts I have in Europe, um, uh, around and in the boxing sector. Um, I thought, no, let's give it a go. So I did, yeah, um, May the 8th, 2012, I did um, a prize fighter, which was a light heavyweight prize fighter with eight, eight fighters. And the winner of that was Tyron Borch, who stayed boxing with prize boxing promotions you know, up until a few years ago um, when, he, when he retired. I don't like to say retired. Hopefully he took a break. He'll be back one day. <laughs> Motivation, um, it's the boxers, me being an ex-boxer myself. Um, sometimes I do a show and think, oh my God, that's it, I'm not gonna do another one. But then I see the boxers, you know, and, and I see how hard they're training, and that motivates me to, to give them a stage. You know, and I, and I see the quality of the boxing getting better and better, and the quality of the shows getting better and better. And the international, um, uh, content of boxing contact me directly and want to showcase my shows on their network um, and obviously yeah that's an ego boost and it's a big motivation for myself you know to continue doing shows boxing is, is, is there's, there's nothing like it um, for one for its discipline you know you have to be hugely disciplined you know, my, 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 my child, you know, my, my young child, he was, um, you know, he was a boy, he was a naughty boy. And I thought, okay, this, this, he needs some discipline. So we went to boxing and, and it helped him. It helped him hugely. His, his schooling um, exams were, you know, went from mediocre to, to a, a top student. Um, it's, it's, it's brain food. You know, boxing is, is discipline is everything in life and, and I don't think there's anything like boxing. The boxing community in Malta is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. As we know even gyms, you know, a lot of gyms are opening up, a lot of uh, people are now, you know, new coaches, they're starting up their own boxing clubs. Um, yeah, I think boxing is, is, is obviously football in every island is, is the biggest sport. And the same goes here for Malta, you know, the football is, is, is very big. But, um, two, I'm going to give you an, an example. 2018 and 2017, boxing was the largest watch sport live. When I say live, as in, in arenas. 
So, you know, people go into Ta'ala to watch football. If there's a big match, you know, there's, there's quite a lot of people. But if it's a small match, then the, the stadium's empty. Because I know I used to play football myself. Um, but in boxing, you know, I have anything between 800 and 1,500 people at every boxing show. So, like I said, 2017 and 18, boxing was the most watched sport live. So that must say on its own that the boxing community here in Malta is growing. How to make a good event. Um, let prize boxing promotions do it. <laughs> it's just consistency, you know, you have to tick all the boxes, make sure the matchmaking is done correctly. You know, I've got, I've got an international matchmaker, Davide Giordano, who's been with me now, you know, for a good four or five years. Um, that's the key point, you know, matchmaking is everything, you know, it, it, and, and it all builds around the matchmaking. So you've got a good fight card and then obviously you've got to have a good production team which, you know, Richard Sambron um, takes care of all my production. Team around you, obviously Steve Martin helps me out hugely with the local matchmaking. Um, Christian Schembri, you know, one of our top fighters, is also helping me out in the promotion. And Mark Wilson-Smith, you know, a fellow English guy um, who takes, a, takes care of all the marketing. So you have to have a team around you, you know, that, that, that picks up all the pieces so you don't leave no rock unturned. You know, like, I've got my family to help me out. You know, my son helps me out a lot with doing the commentating and, and uh, helping me out as well with the matchmaking. Um, and, and my daughter helps me out a lot. So it's having a lot of people around you who are, who are close, who are trustworthy, um, and everyone having their own job to do and do it correctly. Bad side of boxing. Um, is there a bad side of boxing? Um, politics, boxing politics, I don't like it. You know, you've got fellow promoters on the island, you know, and, uh, and then, you know, they're, they're upset because you're doing boxing shows, they want to do one. If everyone was to come together and help each other out, um, boxing would be a, in a, a better state on this island. Um, same goes with, you know, with, with, with the uh, Malta Boxing Association. They, um, they help out a lot, um, but then there's you know, people on the committee, you know, are a bit hard to deal with. You know, it, we need to all be working together, um, making things easier, making it fun, because at the end of the day, boxing should be enjoyable. Yes. So, yes, if there's any, any downside to boxing, for me, it's politics, um, which needs to be sweet <laughs> under the carpet. Well, as I, as I said before, you know, it, um, I used to do matchmaking myself before I met David de Giordano. Um, and it wasn't easy because you have to trust. And you have to, if a coach is telling you, you can't see what record he has, or you can't see, you know, any, any footage on, on YouTube or Facebook or any social media. So it, it, I used to get to use the same person as, a, as, as, as an organiser from the UK or from Hungary I've used before or from Germany or from Italy, from Israel, whatever it may be, from France and I, I get a little bit of trust and I, they know my fighters so they help to match accordingly but that was very hard. So now I have you know, an international matchmaker, I mentioned again Davide Giordano who does his job exceptionally well. He knows all of my fighters so he matches them a 50-50, sometimes you know from 10 fights, he might get two fights, it didn't, it wasn't as good as we expected them to be. But at the end of the day, you know, that, that's boxing. Sometimes it's like opening an empty book. You don't know what you're going to find when you get a fighter coming from Czech Republic, you know, or, or from Bosnia or somewhere, and, or from Georgia, and they don't even know a word in English, you know. So I can, how hard it was for the matchmaker to try and speak to them, you know, to understand their, their, their ability. So, first of all, Gold Rush is a um, uh, prize boxing promotion event in collaboration with Tough Promotions. Tough Promotions are very good friends of mine from the UK. Um, it's also going to be aired on Tough Sport TV, so pay-per-view, people who cannot come to the event can purchase it from Tough Sport TV. Um, 
Gold Rush is, is I've gave it a bit of a name um, because it, there's, a, there's a theme to it. So even all the audience should be wearing the dress code of black and gold. So we got, the, we got the theme black and gold, so we came up with a name, Gold Rush. But what is Gold Rush all about? Gold Rush is all about getting boxing watch live. Okay, so that's why I'm, um, I've made a partnership for this show with uh, Tough Productions. Um, tough promotions, sorry. Um, uh, the president, Mr. Simon Whittle, who arrives here next week actually to help to help me out to to um, sacrifice and cru crucify this event, as I was going to say. Um, it's all about sanitization. Because of COVID-19, we we have this company Extra San um, uh, with rapid testing also. So everybody will be rapid testing at the event. When they arrive, they will have a, a swab in the mouth. Um, they'll be tested. They get a negative within 45 seconds, which is its 99% accurate result. And they will be entered into the into the venue. So what we what are we trying to do? Because of the uh, COVID measures, we're only allowed 100 people inside the event, which is it's not acceptable for boxing. You need more for boxing. You know, we need. I need those 800, 1,000 people. Not financial. Not just for financial wise. Boxers in the ring need to hear that audience. Need to get that vibe. It's it's amazing. Like I said, you know, it it, it, it puts your hairs on edge. So yes, but Gold Rush is all about getting boxing back, safe boxing back on the island. You know, we we're trying to put a statement out there um, with the the sanitisation, which is all water based organic, no alcohol whatsoever, again 99.8% COVID free and bacteria free. So that's our goal, you'll see because I've invited you to come to the event and you're going to see how, how sanitised the event is going to be and everybody's safe. So it gives you that feeling that you're sat at the table and you know that the people over there and over there are all negative. It's as unfortunate, this is the way we have to go. It's a new era, um, it's all about safe, safety and, and, and COVID free. For a boxer to take part at the moment, it's not it's not that simple either. A boxer has to take a COVID test 72 hours before quarantine, and then turn up at the fight. So you know it's 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 changed it's changed the way of their mentality, the way they train, the way they prepare themselves for the fight. Not like before, you know, they would just turn up the day before, do the weigh-in, you know, carb carb up, and then go out and fight. Now it's a bit different, you know, having that in the back of your mind that you have to, three days before, you have to go and have a PCR test and then stay indoors for, you know, for another three days until the event. Not socialising with anybody in the gym, sometimes it's good, obviously, I used to box myself. So in the morning of the, the morning of the fight or the day before, go into the gym, just relax a little bit, keep sharp, you know, and get switched on. But they can't do that. So, you know, yes. Mentally, I think it's it's a bit different for them, you know. But we've got a great we've got, we've got a great fight card, you know. We've got Christian Sh 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 um uh, is, is is the headline in the event. Um, uh, trains really hard, COVID not COVID, you know. He's just non-stop disciplined. Teon Camilleri coming back after 18 months, um, you know, got, gone through a lot of personal issues, family issues, and whatever. Um, but he's come through it. He's a good, strong-hearted, and minded boy. Yeah, I could go. I could talk all day long about this fight, but you need to be there.